the new discovery is being called the most significant in a long time in this East African nation that is still recovering from the 1994 killings of more than 800,000 people. Those who participated in the killing of our relatives don't want to tell us where they buried them. How can you reconcile with such people, asked a tearful Franz McConagasway. She told the Associated Press she lost her father and other relatives in the genocide and believes their bodies are in the newly found graves. The discovery of the graves in Gazabo district came just days after Rwanda marked 24 years since the mass killings of ethnic Tutsi and moderate ethnic Hutus. Definitely some very cruel people still live in our midst, it added. The information leading to the discovery came from a local landlord who at first refused to answer questions about the suspected mass graves until threatened with arrest, Rui Gamba said. Houses and toilets that had been built on top of the graves have been destroyed to make way for the search. The exercise is ongoing and we have identified another house we suspect was built on a piece of land where victims were buried, Rui Gamba said. Bodies found so far include those of babies based on the clothing that has been found, he said. At least 207 bodies have been exhumed from one of the graves and 156 have been exhumed from another, said Theogen Kabe Gambayer, an Ibuka official from Gazabo district. It was not immediately clear what would be done with the bodies or the graves. Authorities have launched investigations and those found to have participated in the killings will be prosecuted, Kabe Gambayer said.